<laughs> hey y'all, I'm just getting home. Go check. Bring me that stick. These are the two puppies. Lucia, the one and a half year old a female, kind of corso. Oh, look at these. So gorgeous. Come on, Tux. Dolce. She's the do very dominant female, adult female, kind of corso. Give my Dolce. Ozzy, the big one over there, is the alpha male. Tux. Tux is my pit bull mix. And then, last but not least, is little Gypsy. Gypsy's a pure American pit bull terrier. Oh, goodness gracious. Look at these, y'all. Good lord, these are looking so good. Oh, come on, this. Come on, this. Come on, this, too. Come on. Come on, this. Come on, this. Come on, this. Come on, you. Dolce. Dolce. She's like, why don't you take it? I want you to. Come on, us. Ooh, so, just checking in with everybody to say hi. And um, if you're new to the pack, I live out here in the Texas Hill Country with my with my five dogs, the three kind of corsos. Oh, some sunflowers about to bloom here. Come on, us. Come on, us. Gucci. Come on this way, baby. Come on. Gypsy, bring it here. Bring your rock. Bring your rock. Let's close this gate here. Good girl. Come on over here. Good boy, I see. They just knocked the cushion off. Yeah, let me fix this side. Come on. Come on. Okay, Ozzy. Okay. Oh. Now we can see it. Luchi, bring it here. Luchi. Okay, let me go throw the stick to Dolce real quick. Good girl. Bring it here. Good girl. She's chomping at the bit. Wants me to throw this thing for her. Okay, sit, sit down, sit, sit down, sit. Good, sit. Sit down, Lucia. Sit down. Good, sit, Lucia. Good, sit, Lucia. Ready, ready. Oh, psych. Psych out. I don't. <laughs> well, what's going on, y'all? What's going on in uh, YouTube land? <laughs> Lucia. Lucia. Well, so I want to um, tell y'all something kind of exciting. I think it's exciting for the channel. Um, and that is, I started something new on my channel that might help some people. Give me this. Dolce. Give me this. Oh, oops, I got the wrong one. Ready? Ready, sit. Oh. Uh, so what it is is, a lot of people have asked me through throughout the year. I've had this channel, what, about a, a year, a little over a year or so. A lot of people have asked me um, where I get certain things. Like, for example, they may ask me, you know, where I got uh, the food or the, the dog bowls that I use. Um, and things like that. Uh, or some people, you know, have asked me where I got something in my house, you know, like whether it be whatever piece of furniture or whatever. So I just discovered something. Hi, Papa. I just discovered something. I can actually 
go into YouTube or not uh, go into uh, Amazon and and create what's called a, a storefront my storefront and it's basically just a page with links to all of these these items it's just got links to all of these items that I use or that I've bought and so I've I've categorized them into three separate uh, three separate little storefronts within the store um, so one is everything for the dogs. Everything that I think is really good good to have for a big dog. Sit down. And um, this also I think might be helpful if, if you're just getting your kind of corso. And uh, you know, and, and you want to know, like several people have asked me, like I was saying throughout the life of the channel, like where did I get that? Uh, it's called a jolly ball. It's like a, it's a horse ball. It's what, it's virtually, I want to say virtually, <laughs> It's uh, just about indestructible. <laughs> I mean, I guess a, a dog, a kind of corso can destroy it, but it takes a long time. But um, but mine pretty pretty much withstood uh, the kind of corsos. And uh, so that's on there. Anything that I've really ever bought for, for my kind of corsos. Uh, uh, also, I included on there those trachea treats that I give them. So I don't give them anything else except these trachea treats because the tracheas beef tracheas they're dehydrated and they uh, they last a good they, i mean i think they last just about as long as a rawhide maybe a little bit less but they're healthier i think because they have the glycosaminoglycans they have you know the cartilage rings so it's it's good for their for their joints it's just like adding cartilage or collagen so um so th those are on there the brand that i use and i love they're not too stinky like some other brands that's on there because someone had asked about that so i figure let me just create a, a storefront the so-called amazon storefront and it'll include all those items and then the second category that i created what is it dolce is um Lucia, come this way. The second category that I created was is um, e everything in my home that, you know, in and around the house, like anything that you may see in my home. Uh, and I'll show you when I go inside, like examples that um, if you're, you know, if you're curious, like where I got something that you may see when I'm filming in the house, uh, it's there. You can see, you can you can uh, even click on the the link that's provided there and and purchase whatever it is that you may be interested in and then the third the third is just um mostly for for the for the females on the channel or males or whoever but it's all the the makeup uh the makeup and the skincare that i use and that i'm really happy with um so these are items that i pretty much have on I, I order like uh very regularly that i'm really ha happy with like i was saying so you can click on any of those and try them out too if you want um let's see and and clothes different clothes and sh or shoes you know that i've that i'm wearing sometimes that you know that i'm really happy with that i like if you're curious there it's all there in, in that storefront and um, disclaimer is, yes, if you do click on one of those links in my in my storefront and you do purchase something, then I do get a very small percentage. So it's a good way to support the channel if, uh, if you're so inclined, um, if you want to support the channel at all. It's very nominal. You know, what I would get a kickback from that is, is very, very minuscule. But, you know, I think it's still... It's mostly to help people um, with, if they, you know, if they ask me, this, actually several people have asked me about the dog bowls. I'll show you when I, when I go inside a little bit more about that. But, uh, so I just kind of wanted to talk about that a little bit. And uh, I'm kind of excited for that because I think it's a cool thing. I wish more people would do it. You know, I think it's a pretty cool thing because if you're watching so much channel, and you're wondering, oh, like, oh, I like the mirror in their house, or I like the, um, 
that that, that toy that they're giving their dog. Um, I, it's all there, so you can click on it. And I'm posting the the Amazon storefront in a link. So if you go to the, my channel, um, there will be a link there. And, uh, you, and you just click on that link. It'll take you right to the Amazon storefront that I have. Uh, and if you can't find it, just drop me a comment below and I'll try to uh, show, show where it is. Okay, yeah, we're back inside here. Uh, yeah, so I had to come back inside. It was getting dark really quickly, but um, yeah, so just as an example, I wanna say I these are probably one of my favorite items that I've bought for the kind of course. So it's one of the first things I bought for them. It's these uh, orthopedic dog beds. You can get them on Amazon. So uh, all of these vendors have affiliations with with uh, Amazon. And so so I would essentially have an affiliation as well. And uh, like I said, what what I would get is, is very minuscule if you did purchase anything from the Amazon store link that I will provide in the in the video. So, uh, hi, Boba. He looks tired, doesn't he? But yeah, anyway, back to these, these dog beds, y'all. Um, these are, like I said, orthopedic. So these big dogs, you know, they, they, their joints, because they're so heavy, their joints take a lot of wear and tear. And it's really recommended to have an orthopedic dog bed. Uh, that way they're not putting too much stress on their joints when they're laying down and things. Uh, and so they, the, the dogs love these beds. And I mean, they're not the cheapest thing, uh, but they're comparable to other orthope orthopedic dog beds. It, it's an investment. So uh, I've had these for, for years and they, and they really hold up. And what I love about them, I think one of, one of the best features is that this thing unzips and comes right off and you can wash this, the cover, and you can get different uh, styles, you know. I got this kind of cowhide style. You can get a black and white one. You can get an all white one, brown or whatever color. And then even once this thing comes off, there's even a, an, an additional liner that also unzips. And so you can wash that as well and it's somewhat uh, water resistant. The dog category that I have, there's, I wanna say maybe like 30 or 40 items in there. This is like one of the most common questions I get is about this raised uh, dog bowl. I love these, they look like little goblets. I think they're pretty. And they've really withstood the, the test of time. I've had these for at least four years now. And, uh, and what I do, I just wipe them down after each meal, I just kind of wipe it down really quickly. And and they actually come with a metal dog insert, but you can really put any kind of dog bowl in it. It's just kind of the holder. I don't put food directly in this thing, so you really got to put a bowl in it. Um, I think it comes with just like one of these standard... Hey, Papa. It just comes with, it comes with you know, one of these standard metal dog bowls. Uh, and a lot of people will say it's it's better to have a raised bowl uh, to prevent uh, to prevent the so-called bloat, where if the dog has a full stomach or eats too quickly, you know its stomach could turn on itself and cause torsion, and then uh, um, it's it can be fatal, and it would require surgery usually. Some sources say that, that it doesn't make a difference, that it's better for the dog to eat um, without a raised bowl. And, and uh, I've, I've always had the raised bowls for my kind of corsos, and a lot of people subscribe to that idea as well. But in any case, I mean, they're not that raised. I think they're kind of a happy medium. The other thing which I love is these bowls. Um, I love the colors. They come in all different colors. I have a green one as well. I think I've got a red one. I love the yellow. But what I love about these, these aren't dog bowls per se. She's like, yeah, tell me what you love about them. These are actually just, I guess, like, you know, salad bowls or anything that you could cook with. 
but I use them as dog bowls because I think that the, the metal bowls, they tend to get the, the water minerals calcify on them and you know, they get to just build up on them. The thing about the, the, the large dogs, when they, when they drink water, they have this really viscous uh, saliva that coats the inside of their water bowl and it's just really slimy. So after one or two drinks, the lining of the bowl is gonna be super slimy and nasty. Bacteria is gonna grow on it. There's gonna be a biofilm. Um, I have found that with these bowls, it's less kind of, um, it gets dirty less, or it, it holds onto that slime less on the wall of the, the wall of the bowl. I've tended, I've noticed that from all the different bowls that I've tried. And also, um, they're very easy to clean. There's no ridges, it's a smooth lining. So, love them and um and uh also uh if you've never had this breed or if even if you do i mean i don't know if this is just of course what i prefer to do is i really prefer to uh every day usually twice a day at least once a day is uh, i will take you know a, a, a scratch pad and i will just wipe that biofilm or as if it does accumulate on the wall, the, uh, the lining of the bowl. Because like I said, it can be really slimy. It can make your dog sick if there's a, a lot of bacteria building up there and you don't change out the water often. Baby girl. Uh, so yeah, that's all on the, on, in that uh, Amazon store that I have set up there. And what else do I have? Oh yeah, they, this is what I was talking about. The, uh, I've got, oh, sorry, this is good. Oops, I stepped on it for a minute there. Um, these trachea, the brand that I use is there, so you can click on that link and order these. These last a pretty long time. They're, like I said, cartilage uh, trachea, beef trachea. They have the, the cartilage that is really good, healthy. It's a good, healthy treat for your dog, and they last a, a fair amount of time. So, I can't remember everything I've got in there, but everything I've got in there... Oh, the collars. A lot of people have asked me about the collars. Now, I, I don't put collars anymore on my dogs um, during the day. That's just like for routine. I don't always keep a collar like I used to. And that's because I have a pack of dogs. And it's just too risky. And, um, and so I... I don't tend to leave the collars on, but I, of course, I do have a collar on them when I go out in public, and I use these particular collars that are, um, have a, a wider, uh, it's, it's a larger width, I guess you could say, um, because if you have a, a really skinny collar, or look at even a chain collar, uh, when you tug on the dog's neck, it can cause it's more focused tension on the trachea, on the windpipe. A wire kind of padded collar, uh, I think will do less damage when you pull on it. And so all those collars are there on that Amazon link as well. Hi, Papa. This my Ozzy. This my Ozzy. And let's see what else. Oh yeah, that, there's the company, the link that I have, for these dog beds, uh, they also make this. This is a couch liner that I have, and they have these throws that you can throw on your bed or your couch. You can get different shapes. This shape fits the couch perfectly, but they have one that's more like a blanket. This is also the same company here. So I love these because a lot of people will buy like these, you know, for decoration and stuff, these expensive sheepskin. But I think this kind of achieves that similar look, but it's it's actually one of the lining the liners to the orthopedic dog bed that I just took off. Um, and this one is smaller. So it comes with the orthopedic dog bed, of course, but I've got the bed with just the liner on it somewhere in the house. Um, and then I just use this as a, kind of a decorative throw. But that's this is the shape of that orthopedic dog bed. It's, you can get the small ones or the large ones. Uh, for these right here, that's the largest one I think that they make. So 
probably ideal for kind of corso. I also have now moving away from the dog section in that Amazon storefront, uh, the link that I have there, you can click on, um, like I was saying, that category that I set up that's everything in the home. And uh, I think I've even got the, the couch, <clears throat> this couch here. Uh, now, I love this couch. It's leather. It's real leather, but it's a forgiving leather. It's one where you can you can see the little um, marks, you know, from their nails, but they kind of just rub right off. They rub right into it, and it just looks like a nice patina. Um, it's not a glaring like uh, some couches and some leathers. Any kind of mark on it is just a really glaring and obvious but this one just everything kind of blends into it so i love it i couldn't find this exact color on the link that i provided but when you click on that link you'll you'll see the different colors that they have so i think the link in my link it's actually a darker color but um it's same company i got this stool which i love um also really nice leather real buttery soft leather and uh yeah and so this is the color hi Popo. what you got on your paw i wonder if he stepped on a cactus let me see baby boy a lot of was a lot of dogs don't let you touch their paws but you know i tried to train my dogs when they're younger i mess with their paws you know just get them used to me touching their paws and stuff uh Lucia, see what I mean? They just love these dog beds. Now, I'll, I'll put, you know, sheets over there if, if they're eating something like a a raw beef shank or something. I put uh, just a sheet that I can quickly pick up and wash and bleach so that I don't have to keep taking these covers off. But they're very easy to take off and on. Um, I've got, for things in the home that you may see in, in my house here, um, that if you like it, you can you have the link to it there. I think I included this stool here as well. I included um, these pillows. This is actually you could you buy the the uh, the pillar the pillow cover separately, but I included both the pillow and the uh, the cover. This is a really nice velvet. You can get all different colors. I included this chair. Um, as well as um, the mirror. A lot of people have asked me about this mirror. I just love it. So that's there. And this uh, firewood rack included. And this uh, cow cowhide rug. I love these. I just love these rugs. Because I just love the look of them. And I love that they're really... Um, kind of they're kind of naturally resistant to staining and, and dirt i just shake them out they don't really get that dirty believe it or not with all the dogs they they stay fairly clean and they're very soft i've actually got two under here because it was a really it was a special when i bought it um and then what else i think i included that table i'm just pointing out things that people have asked me over time and like, where did you get that? And I, th I think it's just going to be helpful to have like a centralized area, a link that they can go to and just see everything. And um, and if I don't have something in that link that I'm going to provide there, uh, if I don't have something that you see that you're wondering where I got it, uh, let me know in a comment, and I'll and I'll post a link to it if I can. Um, this record player, which I absolutely love. It's a Sony. Lucia. It's a Sony, and uh, it's one that you press a button, and it automatically puts the needle on or off the, the record. Um, so I've had this for a while, and I use it a lot. And this wine rack I put the link to, as well as the... Um, Oh, I've got a dust in here. It's a dust in here. As well as the, the record player stand. Or the record uh, stand there. Um, as, and also this print I put on there. Anyway, just as an example, you get the idea. 
uh, yeah, let me know if there's anything else you want me to put up there if you're interested where I got it or curious about it. Um, and I'll try to put the link there. Uh, but most importantly, the, the section for the Cane Corsos is, uh, what I thought would be most most helpful. The other stuff is just kind of fun stuff, I think. And uh, uh, for the kind of course shows, these are things that have make my life so much easier. And I think as well as for the dogs, like the dog beds and the bowls and the different uh, items that you'll see on there, the collars, those are uh, are really really helpful. I've found over time, and and uh, and I, and I can vouch for them as far as. Um, the quality I think is is pretty good. So, oh, I forgot to mention. So the link, I don't. The link that I, I was trying to give you guys for these dog bowls. Um, the store said that they only have the small version right now, and I emailed them and asked them about when are they going to get the large one back in stock because these are real popular. And she's like, yeah, what are you putting in my bowl? What are you putting in my bowl? I don't see anything going in there yet. Um, they said that, that they're going to uh, have more of the large version of these bowls in, I think they said, June. So give it a month or two. If you did want to buy these, just just uh, give it a month or two and they'll be back in stock. Um, yeah, like I said, that's like one of the... The most comments that I get is, where did you get those those bowls? Um, and uh, yeah, so all of these are from vendors that have shops on Amazon. So you can find them through my link. And if you click on my link again, then uh, it really helps to support the channel and much appreciated. So uh, thank you all. And let me know what you think. And uh I'm getting ready to get these dogs some dinner. It, it's been a long day, y'all. Uh, I was up at uh, four o'clock this morning, had to be to work early, and and then I worked late, and then I worked out after work, and now I'm kind of beat. <laughs> Lucia. Lucia is hungry. Mm -hmm. Are you hungry? Uh, Okay, y'all. Well, I hope you're having a good night. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.